Man, this car is so freaking awesome. I can't wait to get home and show everyone. Hey everyone, check out my new Mercedes. I just got a brand spanking new from the dealership. This has got to be a joke. Um, Boris, it's nice, but you didn't say anything about this to me. Where on earth did the money for that come from? Oh, I just used Caillou's would-be college fund for the down payment, and got approved for the loan when I promised to use the money for his basic necessities every month for these car payments instead. So basically, look at it this way. We got this car for free, and the only thing that's changed is Caillou now gets punished more. Oh my god, that's genius. No, it isn't. Tell me this is a prank right now. Well, unfortunately, it's not you bald whiny humpta dumpty egg-headed looking piece of crap. You deserve it anyway for all the insane horrible stuff you do on the regular. No, this is way too far you freaking idiot. By basic necessities, I'm assuming you mean food and water, correct? Yeah. So you're effectively killing me just so you can get a new fancy Mercedes. Seriously, how am I even supposed to survive from now on? Oh, uh, eat bugs and drink your piss like Bear Grylls? What the f*** is wrong with you? Well, honey, wanna take this thing for a spin? Sure. <laughs> what the heck am I going to do? Oh, whatever. I'm just gonna watch some YouTube to distract myself. What in the actual frick is this? Without further ado, I'm proud to present to you... Squatted truck mulch. That's right. We mulched this sad looking m. 15 minutes later. Holy crap. Do you mean to tell me this guy called Whistlin' Diesel literally mulched a piece of crap truck and made tons of money selling the remains? That is the most idiotic but simultaneously genius idea I've ever heard. And you know what? I've found a solution to my problem. Dad, prepare to have your precious Mercedes mulched to nothing while I make bank selling it in jars. Time to scour the internet to see where I can find one of those mulching excavator thingies. One minute, 37 seconds later. Darn it, I can't find a website for any business that might have them. Oh well, there's gotta be something else I can use. That's it, I bet a lawnmower might take a little longer, but would achieve the same basic result. Man, that was an awesome car ride. Made even better by the fact that Caillou's gonna suffer a lot from me owning that car. God dang it. Where the heck is the lawnmower? I sold it for drug money Caillou. And whatever you're planning, just know you will be assaulted after. Dumbass. The only thing I'm planning is cutting some lawns to make money for food, since you care about that stupid car more than me. Whatever. Well, it's a long shot, but maybe Fred will let me borrow his. Oh my god. Shaggy, can we call off this bet already? I've already had to down five beers just to get through the first episode and it's not helping. Like no man, you already agreed that you'd watch every single episode of Velma so you've got to follow through. I'll get it. No I will. Get me away from this god awful show. Ugh. Caillou, what the heck is it? Hey Fred, well I was just, huh, wondering if I could borrow your lawnmower. Why? Because I like, uh, um. Just tell me the reason already. If you're planning to use it for one of your schemes, the answer is an automatic no. Okay, well, the truth is, my dad is now using all of the money that normally goes to my basic necessities like food and water to pay for his new Mercedes, and, uh... <laughs> it's not funny, okay? Funny. So anyway, I need a lawnmower to cut some yards to make money to survive. Can I borrow yours or not? Nah. Why the frick not? I'm not even using it to do anything bad. I don't believe you. Now go away. Come on man, just- Well crap, 
What am I going to do now? Wait, why don't I just steal it? Let's hope no one's in the backyard. Let's see, I guess I'll have to wait until my parents are asleep tonight so they won't notice me doing this. I'll just hide the mower in a bush in the meantime. Alright, it's go time. Man, I can't wait to see my dad's face when he wakes up to find his stupid car mulched. What the heck, all I'm seeing are stupid little scratches. Shut the and would you look at that, this is so loud that it's waking everybody up. Scratch this stupid plan. I can't believe I thought this would work. Wait, why don't I just mulch smaller stuff this lawnmower can actually handle? That's equally as important to my parents. Frick yeah, might as well throw some of Rosie's stuff in too. Now all I've got to do is wait until tomorrow when I can lure them all away from the house. <laughs> Time to go on a nice morning cruise in the new car. What the f Doris, come look at this. Did you see anyone outside our house last night? Oh my god. Someone must have vandalized it. Hey guys. Uh, that's crazy what happened to the car, right? Yes, it is Caillou, and I think we all know it was you who did it. It would seem this is what you wanted a long mower for. What? No. I saw Mr. Hinkle doing it through my window last night. Wait, seriously? Yeah, I'm dead ass. I guess he's mad you got a car he can't afford. For once it wasn't me this time. Oh, 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 I'm going over there right now to beat his ass up. Hey, idiot. What made you think it was okay to scratch off my new car? What the heck are you talking about, Boris? Don't you try and play dumb with me. <laughs> Great. Now I have to go get the car fixed. Oh, about that. There's a guy that'll fix scratches for free over in Grounded City. He also gives $50 to every person that walks into his shop just to boost business. Wait, really? Yeah, I'm dead serious. Holy crap. I'll bring Doris and Rosie then. But not you since you'll probably do something bad and get us kicked out with no money. Come on, Doris. Let's go. And that right there is proof that humans can live without a brain. Now let's see. What should I mulch up? Let's get Rosie's dollhouse and all her creepy ass dolls. Oh look, my dad's precious wall of weapons that he loves so much, sure would be a shame. And last but not least, the box full of priceless family heirlooms that I call meaningless scrap. <laughs> Well, I think that's it. I feel like there's something I'm forgetting though. Oh yeah, the vase in the kitchen that was the last thing my grandmother gave my mom before she died. <laughs> hey guys, I'm gonna grill some steak. Alright man, like I'll have mine medium rare. I didn't mean for any of you idiot. Then why mention it? Just to brag to Shaggy and Scooby about how my diet is way better than theirs. Duck. I'm eating real respectable food and not that trashy McDonald's crap. Maybe it'll convince them to stop wasting my money there all the time. They can eat whatever they want, Fred. Yeah, and don't act like your diet isn't 50 gallons of alcohol combined with one piece of steak per day. Idiot. Wow, I think I almost heard a voice through all that fat. Nope, not risking getting bit by snakes. Guys. The backyard is so freaking long that I'm worried a snake's going to bite me while I'm grilling. Someone needs to mow it ASAP. Yeah, someone really does. Why can't that someone be you? Because I don't want to. Well, I don't either, so tough luck. We know Velma, you don't touch grass like ever. Shaggy or Daphne, can one of you go do it now? Bromie and Scoob are too full from the McDonald's we just ate. Jeez, fine. Daphne. Looks like it's your job then. No, it isn't. I'm way too pretty to do manual labor like that. You narcissistic piece of crap. Do it now or I'll smash your phone. No, 
But speaking of my phone, I'm about to use it to film you being a POS and get you tons of hate on social media. We're already on a YouTube video genius. Please no fourth wall breaks, and also, just shut the hell up, both of you. No. Fred needs to stop being a lazy piece of crap and just move the yard already. Okay Daphne, I will. But only on one condition. Hey, what do you think you're doing with my phone? You can post me on social media once you reassemble your phone from the millions of pieces it's about to be shredded into. Are you freaking kidding me? Fred, don't you dare shred my phone. Well, I can't exactly do that now, can I? Um... What do you mean? Shut up. I know you sold the lawn mower to buy who knows what for yourself. I am so, so sick of you and Velma screwing me over like this. What are you talking about? I didn't sell crap. Yes, you freaking did. And now I'm going to destroy everything in your room as payback. <laughs> I hope you like the new arrangement. Wait. Oh my god, I bet it was actually Caillou. That piece of crap is getting a concussion. You're paying me back for my room, you stupid piece of garbage. Caillou, what on God's green earth are you doing with my lawnmower? Shut it off right now. Oh no, you didn't. Oh wow, whoa, 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 that piece of something just hit me in the face. That's it, you little bald douchebag. Oh, what was that for? Why don't you figure that one out yourself, idiot? I bet the lawnmower's all screwed up from whatever crap you just ran over. What was it anyway? Oh, just a bunch of my family's belongings they all have, including all of my dad's weapons, my mom's precious vase, and all of the family heirlooms they had in a box. It's what they get for wanting to let me die just so they could have a new car. Now I'm gonna put all the pieces in jars and sell them like whistling diesel. I have no freaking idea who that is, but I guarantee no one's going to want to buy the shredded up trash. I'm calling your dad to tell him about this. Afik no. Oh my god I can't believe he pranked us like this again. Me neither. I can. I knew the whole time it was most likely a joke. When are you guys going to stop falling for this nonsense? I don't know, Rosie, but it's not about that. It's about the fact that this bald idiot had the audacity to give us the address to a circus and then send us a text saying go inside and be the clowns that you are for believing me. <laughs> he is going to be so grounded when we get home. Oh no, looks like Fred's calling. I hope it's not about Caillou. So yeah, Caillou stole my lawnmower and let's just say ran over a bunch of stuff you're not supposed to run over. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. We'll sell his organs on the black market and buy you a new one if it's damaged. But wait, that's not all. You're going to have to brace yourself for this part. Just say it. Well basically, I asked him what he ran over, and... Wait, what? Oh, 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 that's it. That stupid, bald, worthless piece of trash is about to get assaulted big time. Hey, I have an idea. Why don't I give him a super ultra mega concussion, something that should send him flying for miles and pulverize his brain? Heck yeah, that sounds great. Just wait for us to get home because I want to see this. You got it. Alright, where is the POS? Crap, crap, crap. Why did Fred have to come over and bust me? Now I'm probably going to get assaulted before I even have a chance to sell the mulch. Caillou, we know you're in here. Come out right now or it's torture time. No I'm not. Wait, I mean. Wow, what an idiot. Alright, fine, bring it on. Why the heck did you steal Fred's lawnmower and mulch up all of our precious freaking belongings? Oh. You wanna know why? It's because you decided to be a total garbage excuse for a father and essentially sacrifice my life so you could get a new Mercedes. You deserve it big time. Oh, and in case you didn't know, I'm the one who scratched up your stupid car as well. You got what you had coming, you piece of crap. 
Are you freaking kidding me? Well, I didn't even know about that. You little bald whiny tongue throwing piece of trash. That's it. Prepare to have Fred give you a super ultra mega concussion time. Oh my god, I'm totally freaking numb and I can't feel or hear anything. Uh, uh, uh. I wonder what Caillou's doing today. I don't know Dora, but just so you know, the only way Caillou's coming over here is if he falls out of the sky right into our house. Looks like he's coming over. Oh my god, my freaking roof. <laughs>